Have you ever wondered what animal sweats the most? Have you ever wondered what animal is the sweatiest beast in the animal kingdom? Well, I'll give you a hint. It has to be a mammal. And that's because only mammals have sweat glands. So animals that are not mammals, such as lizards and birds, don't sweat at all. Also, not all mammals sweat. Animals like whales and dolphins are mammals, but they don't actually sweat. So a lot of people might think that the pig is the animal that perspires the most. After all, there is the expression, sweating like a pig, which means that you are sweating profusely. Well, pigs are actually the domesticated version of the wild boar. This is a picture of a wild boar. And while pigs and boars do have sweat glands, they really don't have that many sweat glands. And in reality, pigs and boars hardly sweat at all. So in reality, if a person is sweating like a pig, they would hardly be sweating at all. The primary reason that humans sweat is for the purpose of thermal regulation. In other words, to cool off using the process of evaporative cooling. But pigs simply do not have enough sweat glands to be able to rely on sweating for thermal regulation. That's one reason why pigs like to wallow in the mud. They don't like to wallow in the mud just because they like to be dirty. They wallow in the mud because that actually allows pigs to cool off. In fact, wallowing in mud allows pigs to cool off more than if they were to just wallow in pure water. Another animal that wallows in the mud for the purpose of cooling off is the hippopotamus. And wallowing mud is another type of evaporative cooling. Interestingly, of all the animals currently alive today on Earth, there are really two animals that sweat a lot more than all the other animals. And what two animals are the sweatiest beasts of all the other animals that are alive on Earth today? One of those animals would be the species known as Homo sapiens. Yes, our own species. We humans are animals, and not only are we humans animals, but we're also very sweaty animals. In fact, the typical human, when exercising vigorously for one hour, will sweat out anywhere from 0.7 to 1.5 liters of sweat. That's a lot when you think about it. Also, top athletes with a high level of physical fitness can sweat even more. It's not uncommon for Olympic triathletes, for example, to sweat more than two liters in just one hour. And the world record of sweat while exercising is actually held by an Olympic athlete in 1984, Alberto Salazar, while preparing for the Olympics, perspired 3.7 liters in just one hour. That's a whole lot more than a pig can sweat. In fact, if you are going to express that you are sweating profusely, you would be a lot more accurate in saying that you are sweating like a human rather than sweating like a pig. In fact, humans sweat far more profusely than just about any other animal on Earth alive today, with one possible exception. And that exception is possibly the horse. Now, it's a little bit hard to say whether or not horses sweat more or less than humans. If you go by just the quantity of sweat produced, horses can sweat more. I mentioned that an average human, while exercising vigorously, can sweat anywhere from 0.7 to 1.5 liters in just one hour. The average horse can sweat anywhere from 13 to 18 liters in just one hour while exercising vigorously. Some horses can sweat more than that. But of course, horses are also much larger than humans. As a rule of thumb, the average light horse weighs around 1,000 pounds, and the average draft horse, which are much larger, weigh about 2,000 pounds, and they can get heavier than that. So when it comes to the actual amount of sweat produced per pound of body weight, you could actually make the argument that horses and humans sweat about the same amount. The primary reason horses perspire is to cool themselves down, just like humans. And just like humans, many of the same factors that affect how much a human will sweat will also affect how much a horse will sweat. 
how physically fit a horse is, medical conditions, how warm it is, how humid it is, are all factors that will affect both horses and humans in how much they perspire. But there is some differences between horse sweat and human sweat. Human sweat is mostly water. It's at least 99% water. Horse sweat is also mostly water, but it's not as much water as human sweat is. Salts in horse sweat are about four times as concentrated as they are in human sweat. Also, horses heat up a lot faster when exercising than humans do. According to one study, horses actually heat up 10 times as quickly as humans do while exercising. One reason is horses are larger than we are. Another reason is horses have a higher percentage of active muscles being used when they exercise in comparison to humans. Also, a smaller percentage of horse sweat actually evaporates when horses are exercising in comparison to human sweat. When a horse is exercising, about 25 to 30% of its sweat will evaporate. That's in comparison to human sweat. Humans will have up to 50% of their sweat evaporate when they are exercising. And since sweating it cools you down using the process of evaporative cooling, you actually need the sweat to evaporate in order to cool you down. That also explains why in more humid climates, sweating does not cool you down as much because not as much sweat will evaporate when there is a higher amount of humidity. Just like humans, horses need more than just pure water to rehydrate themselves. They also need electrolytes and they actually have electrolyte solutions for horses with these solutions, electrolytes are mixed with water that help horses replenish the electrolytes that they lose from sweating. Think of this as basically the same thing as Gatorade, but for horses. In fact, these solutions actually provide some of the same electrolytes that Gatorade provides, including sodium, chloride, and potassium. Another thing about horse sweat is that it sometimes can appear as white and foamy. That's because it contains a protein called latherin, which is unique to horse sweat. One reason a lower percentage of horse sweat actually evaporates in comparison to human sweat is the fact that horses have coats. Latherin causes the sweat to spread through the coat, thereby allowing it to evaporate more rapidly. Latherin is more likely to foam when something rubs against it, perhaps one of the horse's body parts, or perhaps a human or something else, much in the same way that soap becomes more foamy when you rub it against something else. Clearly, no other animal on earth can produce sweat as quickly as a horse can. However, like I said earlier, when you take into consideration the amount of sweat produced per pound of the animal's body mass, you could make the argument that humans and horses sweat about the same amount. So it's a little difficult to make these kinds of comparisons, but it is fair to say that humans and horses sweat far more than all the other animals alive on Earth today. The only other animals that would come close are the primates that are not human, like monkeys and chimpanzees. These other primates do sweat enough that they can actually use sweat for thermal regulation, but they don't use sweat to thermal regulate themselves nearly as much as horses and humans do. They also don't produce nearly as much sweat as a human or a horse does. Take the chimpanzee, for example. A chimpanzee does sweat a lot more than a pig does. But it's estimated that the average human sweats 5 to 10 times as much as the average chimpanzee does. Now, even though chimps don't weigh as much as humans... Still, even when you take into account their weight, humans still sweat a lot more per pound of body weight than a chimpanzee does.
Now, chimps don't weigh as much as humans do on average, but even when you take into account the weight difference, humans still sweat a lot more than chimpanzees do per pound of body weight. So humans and horses are by far the sweatiest animals on earth. Thanks very much to my Patreon producer, Lena, aka Lollipop, and my Patreon associate producer, Jamie Joy. If you like this video, give it a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon for notifications, and select all notifications. It really helps me out when you select all notifications. You can also catch me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at ZorkBid123.